This is the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Karai Serpent by Playmates. And uh, today is April 21st. And the w this figure, along with the other figures in this wave, have just started appearing at local toy stores, local retail stores like Toys R Us and Toy Kingdom here, over here in Manila. So in this wave, we have the Karai Serpent. We have the Stockman Fly, and well, we have the Mystic Ninja Turtles, and we have Mikey Turflytle. Turflytle. There you go. Here's her bio: the daughter of Splinter fights with the Ninja Turtles and gets mutated into a serpent. Long serpent tail, large fangs, and blinding venom. That's her weapon. One of the more difficult figures to find in the wave since she's like one one figure in a case of 24 figures there's only one karai so kind of hard the stockman fly there's two turtle turfly till there's two there's two of each of the mystic turtles so you, know, you won't have a difficult time doing that so let's see if we can crack him open crack her up crack this figure up no tools See if how how kid friendly um, playmates is. Uh, not too bad. Just be careful with the sharp edges of the plastic. You don't want to get nicked or anything like that. Um, she comes with the uh, catalog. Neat. Yeah, that has figures from the previous waves. This is a nice, nice little catalog. It's got everybody. The only thing it doesn't have is the first release of the Ninja Turtles right before the Stealth Tech Ninja Turtle figures. It's probably the only one they don't have. Or right before the Ooze. Watching figures. Not bad, not too bad. I actually like this catalog. It's simple. You got everything in one sheet, back to back. So, it's that. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh, if if you watched my haul video, I was, I, if you recall, I was very disappointed with the paint apps for this figure. I had to hunt down another one. And you can already see at the serpent head, the shoddy paint apps that are on it. Come on, playmates. I don't understand why they had trouble with this particular figure since all the other figures seem okay. And the... Uh, Plastic, oh, this is a pain. The plastic twist tie. I'm sure parents are going to hate this. I certainly do. These are, this is one of those that you just have to go through un untying it because if you try and cut it, you might... If you try and cut it here, you could do it, I suppose, but you're gonna it's too close to the body, you're gonna probably end up scratching the paint even more. It already has crappy paint apps as it is, and I don't wanna scratch. So comes with the tail. Oh, the tail also is just tied. Okay, simple. Okay. Some assembly required. that there's a white patch here there's a shiny patch right there who knows and um, I guess you just stick this in All right okay hmm. okay and, uh, and there you 
you go. There is Karai in her serpent mode. Not too bad. Not too bad looking. Uh, give you a closer look at that. Pretty neat. I like the sculpt, uh, despite having some really unsatisfactory paint apps. The sculpt is actually looking pretty good. Articulation for the figure. He's got a ball jointed neck, swivel shoulders, swivel waist, and a swivel tail. And that's about it for articulation. Paint apps, bodies painted wonderfully. Uh, I, well, no shading at all. The color scheme is okay. I'm just not happy with the quality. I would have been okay with just the purple and on the gray, but this one just... It's it's um it's the quality I control I think they had on this one. I think there was a piece of cello tape on it that they I don't know. Oh the hands are not painted. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of customizers can easily do that, easily paint it. Wish they would have painted that. It says yellow eye, yellow slit eyes, but it's green. I don't know. See the the color scheme is great. Had they exec ex executed it well enough, it would have been really great. I found a f another figure that had decent enough paint apps, so that uh, that should be fine for my collection. But this one, it's just really no excuse for that. Come on, playmates, you're not Hasbro. <laughs> um, texture on the figure, well, well sculpted. I mean, the figure is a good representation of Karai, so. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. It's okay. It's just the paint apps really, really brought this figure down for me, I think. Um, could have done a better job with it. So for size comparison, um, I don't have any of the turtles opened because <laughs> I decided to keep everything M MOC uh, for future use. Here is with uh, Beast Hunter's Bumblebee. Decent enough size and a Marvel Legends female figure, Madame Hydra. So there you go, folks. Um, it, it's a decent enough figure. You could try hunting it down, but you know, don't waste too much effort. It, it is what it is. And um, I'm gonna have to give it a nine out of ten. Um, it's decent enough, but the paint apps you ruin it for me. And you know, more pay, extra paint apps could have been done on it. So 9 out of 10. Decent enough figure. I'm sure a lot of collectors will be hunting this one down. Don't pay more than retail price for it. I mean, scalpers out there are just going to jack up the price for this one. Don't don't fall for it. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please click thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter. Share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Chefatron, where I do all my video reviews for action figures such as these, like Transformers, Marvel, G.I. Joe's, and Star Wars, and... Perhaps Ninja Turtles. Follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases, FX Rands. Follow me on Instagram for my local toy sightings here in Manila. Also on the FX Rands username, but YouTube, I'm on Chefatron. This has been the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Karai Serpent by Playmates. Thanks for watching.